Good morning and welcome back to the farm. Hope you're having a great time. It's a new year and new possibilities and new construction. So first things first, let's check the used market and there is a farm tech tipper or trailer um, kind of big 24 meter width oh, it's a new manure spreader it's not bad don't know if I need one of that so I'll leave it be anyway as you may have noticed there are some changes that I made here um, I've added a, another building, another garage actually, but that's not the only change I've made. I will, um, maybe we can take this tractor. I've done a few other alterations around this farm. Um, I did sell the silage in November, no December, and I made about 840 something plus on that. And then I sold my lettuce in January. I made some money on that as well, which is good. Um, you can see one of the changes up ahead. It's, I upgraded my silo to an even bigger one. And this one can hold liquids as well, which is great. Um, yeah, but anyway, today we're going to start by selling some tomatoes, so I don't really need a tractor for that. Um, need a trailer, a little trailer. And I parked that over here. You can see I moved the shelter that I had, uh, the, with the bulk storage that I had here for my, um, cow food or cow feed and I made it into and I, I sort of replaced it with a open garage kind of thing instead see I don't need um, I don't need that one and I just tried to spruce up the place a little bit make it look nicer I was very heavy-handed earlier on by removing basically any tree that I could see, but the trees are nice. They offer a lot of stuff. Um, currently carrying 37,000 liters of tomatoes. Uh, I could have, oh yeah, I got this one as well. It's a solar powered or solar panel garage, open garage for my uh, big machines that is too big to actually fit into any of these garages. So I make a bit of money by selling the energy back to Elm Creek, which is nice. Um, yeah, so got plenty of tomatoes to sell. Usually I sell them in January, but my forecast told me that the prices are better in February. So I'm like, okay, let's go February then. Looks like we're kind of full up on here. There we go. Let's see where to sell them. Tomatoes. Um, okay, last month sunflower was at a good price in February, but not a good price. It's in March, so. Tomatoes in February. That's now. 1618. The grocery mark. That's close by. Let's go there. Another change I did was with the new silage setup, I realized I'd only need two of these silage bunkers and two of these silage storage. And I can reach them with the conveyor belts. So basically, in my first cut of grass in May, I think it is, I will put um, silage in the one to the left grass in the left one let it ferment and then in June I will transfer it to this bunker here also that is on the right now and then I will fill up the one on the right or the one in the front there and tip it over there 
and alternate like that. And the last cut of the year, I will use most to fill up on the feed for my animals that need it. Because the fermentation takes a bit of time and usually I sell before that fermentation is complete. Or I start selling before the fermentation is complete. And also moving them takes a bit of time, so... Um, if I have to move less, then that's great. So I'm just going to do that, you know, these fields here. Um, sort of... Just pretend that doesn't poke out. Um, yeah, these grass fields. I, I make plenty of grass now and silage out of it, which is nice. And the new method also with the silage additive. It's increased the yield of my silage quite a... I mean, it's just a low percentage number. However, considering the amount of grass that I do get, or silage that I do get, that low percentage number is still big. Let's see, we need to sew curtain side is right front or right back? I think right. Yeah, that's the one. gonna sell my tomatoes here. I'm also gonna do a list on my sales I do on a year. So I'm gonna add up the numbers on this one and put it in a small little spreadsheet. And just see how much I can make in a year. I mean, it's not a typical year, but no, still. I guess we can turn that off. Oh, of course. Turn that back on. Not a very quick process, is it? But as long as the money goes up, that's good. I have a new app installed as well, which is quite useful. It's it's specifically made, well, it's it's not specifically made for Elm Creek, but I'm using the Elm Creek version. Um, someone took the time to map out each field, the size of them, and everything like that, and. Yeah, I'll show you once this is done. Don't want to miss the big numbers popping in. Come on, you can do it. Forty-seven two eight five. That's not the full number, though. Four six three. Why is it so difficult to get these? Because I'm not in the middle there. Go in there. So 
sorry I have to be this heavy handed about this part here as well. Sometimes you have to. Whoops. Hate when that happens. Come on. To remember to take the turn quite big, or you know, try to be more central, centralized. So how much do we get here? About 30,000 I think? 24,322. 24,322. Okay. I will tally that up later and we'll see how much it is. Um, yeah, let's close this up. So what else are we doing today? Um, just little bit of general maintenance and discussing well I guess I'm monologuing about the future plans of this place now we have um, a bit of money on our hands 1.2 which is nice um, I have a lot of good equipment that I need um, I have a lot of animals. I wouldn't mind upping the the field or the the size of my cow barn to the biggest one or maybe the make I guess this is the biggest one. It's just that it's not automatic. It's not the one with a robotic feeder. But that's okay. I can make do without. It's not that big of a deal to um, what do you call it? Feed the cows. Okay, you have a few of those, which is nice. Oops. Let's go like this then. Need two more. One more. There we go. And here is four. Okay, I have to come from below. Can do that. I didn't do any wool um, to the spinneries last month because of the cotton. Spinners, spinneries are still hard at work producing, so don't need to do that. But now, uh, you know, 5,000 liters for each place. 
So that's good. Can check up on them. I also put in on this side that you didn't show you a uh, storage for potatoes. It's empty at the moment, um, but it's a quick place to put potatoes because yes, I will be planting potatoes as well. Uh, I figure on the same field as I did the sugar beets last time because that gave me a, a lot of sugar beets. And I'd rather sell the sugar beets than give them to the pigs because if I cut them up, I can sell them for a nice little chunk of change. Um, I won't get, you know, as much money as I do get on grass or things like that, but I, I will get plenty, which is good. Um, I will drop them there. Then I will come over with a forklift and just sort them out. I guess I can put a forklift over here. Let's see. Since we're in the neighborhood of this place, we don't have to be, but we are. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, canola. I will be selling in Feb March, so that's good. Uh, all of these guys just need a little bit of water. This one still got plenty of cotton. This one seems to be sort of stuck at this number, so it's sort of making what it is. The lime has plenty of lime in it. I bought a bunch of stone and put it in there. Um, but now they've upgraded it uh, to another version where you know you need to add a little bit of water as well, which is totally fine. I have no problem with that. Anyway, let's look at the fields, shall we? So the fields we own, these two, um, not quite sure what to make. Here we're going to do taters, potatoes next month, or yeah, we, I think we're planting next month. Potatoes is planted in March. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, looking at the list here, we have sunflowers, but now we're using it in two places. So maybe do a field of sunflowers, a field of canola. We're getting the wheat in. I may have to redo that or do another field of that because it's won't be harvested here so I may have to have a dedicated field for this part to give me the straw and the the grain um, or the yeah the, the grain feed for the, the porkies the, the pigs we're doing grass doing wheat I would see how much we get here I think it should probably be enough uh, gonna do potatoes on this one here I guess we can do sunflowers we do get a lot of sunflowers we can do canola on this one that is sort of covering all of the stuff that we need now plenty of money could buy this field for half of our plenty money and either combine it with these two or now hear me out not <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I go into I want to go into the olive and grape business and I figure f you know straight fields or, or fields like this maybe this is a better purchase to do eventually I mean I guess I can get both but I don't need to but if I do in field 33 I do that as my olive grove. Don't know how much but we can buy it and then find out. There is a lot of money involved in olives. Um, could also get this field and combine it with those two here because there's a, like a nice curvature here. But I feel like that would be too much if I use this as potatoes and beets, you know, alternate for that. Because I get about 850-ish thousand beets and the storage can hold a million. So, shouldn't go for that. 
this one could be mm, I feel it's too small for wine or grapes and olives this one is a square field though so it should be fairly easy um, yeah it's tricky don't know which field to go for I could possibly afford any field um, I can get this one and combine it with this one and just make a huge whatever it's not that expensive either same with this I can get these two here and combine them into just one large field so many things I can do but what is it that I'm gonna do this one would be ideal for soybeans for example um, just to sell not to um, yeah I need to do that wait how what's my current soybean situation 29,000 okay and soybeans canola and sunflower soybeans sunflower and canola yeah I have enough so I actually think I do need another field let's let's look over it again canola potatoes wheat currently grass um, this one is not used for anything at the moment <coughs> sunflowers so if I buy this and just do soybeans on that usually I will sell the soybeans the cow or the, the pigs it's the protein I'll give them 5,000 every now and then and it's good for a while so one trailer full would be enough for a while yeah let's get it let's do that let's buy field 57 um, should I go for the bigger field and not combine it I mean eventually I'm gonna get the bigger field um, let's see is has it been planted yet no it's completely empty none of these fields that I'm interested in has anything planted on them except maybe field 38 which has barley on it or did it or was it something else is this growing let's let's check it out let's see what fields what that field have to offer because I might just buy it when it's already planted it's barley so that's nice need to be fertilized quite a bit but barley isn't harvested until here and then I don't need to do the wheat I mean I'm still doing it but that's um anyway let's look at this one Wait, which field was it? It's field 38. So this is the new app that I have. It tells you... Uh, these are the fields that I own, by the way. So it tells you everything you need to know about that. But if you look at field 38, it's a 4.4 hectare. We'd need this much lime, this much fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, manure, a lot of manure, a lot of slurry as well, digest a lot and then if we do plant stuff this is how much we would need a lot of potatoes a lot of sugarcane oh I haven't done sugarcane at all so it's, it's, it's a nice little tool to tell you information about what you need to do and what you don't need to do so should I get this it gave me a lot of straw way much straw than I need so 
Probably not. Let's just get the, the field that I set, um, which would be field 57. We get this one, and should we wait? No, I need it in April, right? I need it in April. So if I f yeah, I will buy it. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. There we go. Done. Still have some money left, which is nice. So I think I'm going to make a small list for myself to keep tabs on what I'm going to be planting on each field and things of that nature. I don't want to risk running into a situation where I'm too late to plant something or too late to harvest something. Which is come becoming increasingly more real or possible the more fields I get. Okay, let's feed the pigs a little bit just to top up on their numbers there. I need to feed them as well. Um, the sheep, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh, um, I did sell some of my slurry. Yeah, it wasn't really worth it. 28,000 liters of slurry gave me like 2,000 money or something like that. Even though I need like a ton on fields, um, I can use it on the smaller fields that doesn't require as much. I think that's a viable option. So let's see, the piglets. Let's give them the base food, which is corn. That's what they want this time. What, this one is too small to get that? Okay. That's not what I want to see, but I can sort that out. Park you here. And we get something larger. Oops. There we go. Pretend that didn't happen. Take this one. My auger wagon. Fill this up with corn. Don't have to completely fill it. That's enough. Then we go pipe out. In. Get 
bit tight here. Yep. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm just making it worse and worse for myself here. Yeah, we're doing in the Austin Powers 580s point turn. See if this is possible. Should be. Yep. Park you there for a bit. Then we grab this again. Make a nice little turn here. There we go. I have to get them straw as well. No problem. So base food is 14 grain is still high I I guess I could bring up all of these to be around the same level wonder how much I can hold in terms of food in here looks like maybe 80,000 that would be 20,000 in each mm -hmm. I'll work it out how are the cows need to feed them for today I haven't done that yet there's plenty of food um, the milk I can transfer to this one, this uh, liquid storage here, so I only have to sell on the best month uh, of the year. They're doing well, I can feed them something, the chicken, yeah, everything is hunky-dory here. Just general maintenance left to do and I will do it. So I thank you for watching and please like, subscribe and comment and I hope to see you next episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.